black and remind me of cops. Hey, what's going on guys? Take in today's video. I'm going to be showing you how to make the effect you have just seen on screen. Before we get into the video, I'd just like to remind you guys to please hit that like and subscribe button if you're enjoying the video. So leave a comment down below in order to help me make more money. Uh, so yeah, with that being said, let's get right into the video. Uh, so what I've got right here is just a very simple start. So I have just got, uh, you can ignore these, these are just a sound effect. We have the music, which is right here. I've marked out the beat right here where I have the kill. And I've marked out where I want the uh, the transition to start. And up here, I have just rendered out the twister. So I can go and play this back for you. It is very, very easy. And this is what I have right now. Just like that. So I've just rendered out the twister. As you can see, if you don't know how to do this, and I will link a tutorial in the description, that'll tell you how you can do this with the twister. But it shouldn't take you more than a couple minutes. Uh, so yeah, what you're going to want to do right here is... Uh, just find the beat where you want the tra transition to start. And what you're going to want to do is just uh, duplicate your, this track right here. So just duplicate the track. Split that right there and split that right there. But uh, you're going to want to do this. So you're going to want to go up here. You're going to want to freeze frame right there. You're going to want to split down here, split down there. So it should look something like that. Now, this is a really bad frame, unfortunately. You want to make sure you find a frame that's like sort of, sort of clean. So I'm going to go ahead and do this frame. Uh, it really doesn't matter all too much, but it will look better if there is no Twixter whatever on it. So right here, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to start masking. So uh, you're going to want to make a new one of these for everything you want to mask. So I've chosen this uh, a clip because all the builds are easily visible and it's very easy to mask everything so as you can see that we have the center right there we have one two three four walls right there and we have the character so we're gonna need five of these so one two three four and five uh now let's go and get started with the bottom one right here uh, it is actually very, very simple. You just want to go here, enable mask, click on the first frame. So zoom in. Let's go and make this the right hand side. So let's just go ahead and whip out our pen tool. And we can just go ahead and do something like that. And then after, I don't know what happened there. We just do that, do that, that, that. And it just keeps going up there. Then it goes in, we just go around sort of like that. And now we should have something like that. Now that's very good, should look like that. So let's go ahead and keep going with the next one. So this next one is going to be uh, to the left right here, or actually we can just do the bottom. Uh, should be simple enough. So the bottom will be that, and then it goes through there, and it goes through there. And just make sure you go around. Just like that. Uh, now for the next one, uh, let's do the so the top, I guess. So we just go sort of like that, and so it doesn't have to be perfect. Obviously, I'm not making it perfect. So I've already made the effect in a different project file, so I don't really need to make it perfect. But it should look, it should be sort of decent anyway. So now. If we go ahead and select all these, it should look like that. There shouldn't really be, or there shouldn't really be, be any black lines in between. So just make sure that they aren't, and make sure that the end results. Oh fuck! Now it scared me. Just make sure that the end result uh, looks like a complete frame, if that makes sense. So now we have done the uh, top hand center. Let's go ahead and do no whatever we have done. Let's not do that anymore. Uh, let's do the left hand side. So it's. Zoom in here. That's cool. Let's just use that to go up. And then go to the uh, go to the left here. And yeah, uh, just so you guys know, I'm uh, uh my, what I, I don't know what I was fucking gonna say. Actually, I forgot. Um, okay, if we mute that. Like, like you can see a couple black lines here. I mean, in the end, it doesn't really matter, but you should do your best to ignore them. And the last one up here is going to be the center. So center right here, 
should be very, very easy to mask. The center, if anything, you want to be extra careful with because the center is going to be sort of the focus of the entire transition later on. So I would recommend that you at least take it somewhat seriously. Uh, let's just go and go down here and we go over like that. And that should be fine. So now we're going to want to go ahead and duplicate uh, one more. We just duplicate the top track. Uh, I don't know what happened there. Uh, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We want six video tracks if your clip looks like mine. And we're going to go, uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete this marker and just place it over here. Um, we're going to go ahead and just delete this mask. We're going to go ahead and delete that. And now we're going to go ahead and mask the character out. So masking the character, you, you don't need to do this, obviously, but, I mean, you definitely can. Uh, well, actually, no, you do need to do this. What am I saying? Uh, I don't know why the fuck I said you didn't need to. That's, like, the whole point of the entire fucking transition. Damn. I mean, it, it's, it's 4, it's 5 a.m. on a school night, because I had to record this. Like, yeah. I have like 11 hours of school per day, so I just have to get up early to do this shit, so. Excuse me if I'm not, uh, being clear, so to speak. Uh, but yeah, just go ahead and mask the character out. I'm not being entirely accurate, but you probably should be. Uh, and, yeah. Let's go ahead and just keep doing that. Let's go up in between the legs. Fuck it, I'm just going really sloppy there. And now we have that. Make sure you get the little part that could be around here as well. Just like so, just select that and delete that. And now, as you can see, there isn't really much of a difference there. And that is exactly what we want. So now what you're going to go ahead and do is head into the description, uh, if you get it, and download the paper texture that is down there. Now, the paper texture is very, very easy to use uh, to actually apply to your background or whatever. Uh, and I'm going to show you that in just a second. Uh, firstly, I have to just find it myself. Uh, fuck. Okay. Uh, I'll be right back. All right. So I've managed to find the texture. It is right here. And what you're going to need to do is very, very simple. You're going to want to just set that on here and uh, just go ahead and trim it off like that. And what you're going to need to do is you're going to want to drag this underneath something. So as you can see right here, we have the character that we can see on the paper. So we're just going to, we're going to go ahead and copy uh, the event attributes from this. Just control C and paste that, paste event attributes onto the paper. Now we can go into the mask and we get this cut out right here. So this is good because this lets us just go around it, I guess, without really needing to have any further... You know, just, uh, I don't fucking know what I was about to say, but we don't really need to think about it anymore, which is great. And now we get that, and that's uh, that's amazing. So we just duplicate that. When we're done with that, we drag that underneath here, and we copy that onto that, and we go in here, and now we can go ahead and just go and make a texture around it. Now try to make it like a bit jaggedy, I guess. Uh, I mean, as long as it looks sort of papery, you'll probably be fine. Uh, so, yeah, it, it doesn't need to be perfect once again. There's going to be a lot of shake on this. So, um, yeah, what you're going to need to do, though, is you're going to need to rearrange this at some point because the paper is going to overlap with a couple things. And uh, in the end, it just won't be great. So, uh, yeah, but just deal with that later. For now, just keep dragging it on. Uh, just like so and we go into here we go into the mask and we just once again make some paper texture I guess and we do need to complete the mask so you will need to go around any potential stuff duplicate track right there copy that onto that go into the paper first one and like that but we're not done there we just keep going with that and 
once again, we just go down here. Now, the reason I'm not cutting this out is because this is going to be a pretty long tutorial for me, and I just don't have the time to, like, cut this out. Uh, so it's going to be a bit hard. Um, okay, I'm not sure what's happened here, but no, I needed to copy the event attributes from that, didn't I? Yeah, here. So, let's do that. And once again, duplicate there. And now we have this. There. Okay, so now once you have that, uh, what you realistically should try to do is you could try to just uh, you're going to want to just like drag, uh, actually, let's not worry about that. Uh, so now the, you're going to want to animate these essentially. So, uh, this is the sort of hard part, I guess. Uh, but it, uh, it'll be fine. Um, but before we do that, just go into video effects tab, search for drop shadow. And I guess just add, uh, add some, add like this, I guess, to the, uh, to the background. You can lower the opacity a bit. Add that. I'll just save that as backdrop. Uh, and then we'll just search for that again. And just add that to all of the, the tracks. Right here. It'll really make it look a bit more filled in. And it'll remove sort of the empty look. So drop shadow on that. And lastly, down here. All right, so we'd just like to say that once you have gone to this step and you have everything, you're going to add your background. And adding your background is just very simple. You can just go ahead and drag a random overlay you think looks cool. Uh, for me, I have some overlays by Tribe right here, or 7 Rib or whatever call them, I, I, I don't know. Uh, and you just drag that on the bottom and you'll just have like a background. So yeah, that's really all you need to do here. I just forgot to mention in the video, uh, just dragging your background to the bottom. It's that simple. All right, so what you're going to want to do now is literally just animate all of these. So let's go ahead and start off with animating the uh, the top, I guess we could do sort of these. So what we're going to need to do is just add blur mark curves uh, and we just we need to go in. Let, let's go and time this. We're going to have these come down like here. Just go ahead and make a marker so you remember. Let's have them come down there. And let's set the shift Y. And we'll need this to go down to like 0, 0,7. I think 0, negative 0, 0,6. Negative 0, 0,65. And I guess we could set these to slow. Yeah, set them to slow. So after that, you will need to just copy the exact same settings onto the paper. So shift one, negative 0 0.65, slow. And just make sure that they go down together. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And now what we need to do is we need to set the exact same settings on to the, uh, the bottom. So let's go and find the bottom. Uh, the bottom is nowhere to be found, apparently. Right there. And we're going to want to just drag the exact same stuff on this. And the reason for that is because, um, hold on. Uh, the reason for that is because we need this to go down so that we can't see the bottom half of the skin. So keyframe shift UI, just set that to slow. Now we should have that. And that should come down pretty well. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this with all the other ones. All right, so next up, let's do the uh, the side walls right here. So we just have this. We just drag default on there. Uh, we keyframe the shift X and we just set that to negative 0 0.25. Um, just like so. And we do the same with the paper. So shift and then negative zero comma zero comma two five. There we go. I'm smart. Uh, set that to slow, and they should come out at ideally roughly the same 
frame right here. It doesn't really matter if there's like one, one or two frames in between. But it should look sort of similar. Uh, and now just go ahead and do the right side. We want to leave the middle uh, for now. We do want to leave that because there, we do have to content to our fillet. And since we're on Vegas, that's going to be a bit of a fucking pain. So, uh, yeah, just prepare yourself for that. But until then, we have some fun animation to do. Yay. Uh, Shift X, do that. Set that to slope. And I need to remember what the fuck I set that to. 323, okay. Keyframe X, 323, slow. And where is the roof? That is my question. There's the roof. Great. And right there. So let's drag default on there. Keyframe shift Y. That needs to go up. Set that to slow. And this would be the paper. So we need to copy the exact same numbers onto that. Uh... Right there, so we do that very quickly and set that to slow once again. Now we should have something that looks like this when we look back. Alright, well as you can see the paper hasn't quite made it up. So I'm just going to have the next frame, just have it make it all the way up. And you can see the same thing with the top right corner. I mean, in the end, it really does not matter. But, ah, fuck it. Actually, we'll just leave it. Uh, now what we're going to need to do is find the middle right here. Right there. And what we're going to need to do now is we're going to need to render out a frame of this. And this is because we are replacing this entire, pretty much this entire track. So, save that. Render that as. And then just render it as a still frame. And as you can see right there, we just open it. Uh, we just open this. It will be green, but we have this. So now what we need to do is save photo from videos. Save photo. So for a moment, it'll be saved. Now what you're going to need to do is open up Photoshop. Now, if you don't have this, you can just go ahead and skip this entire step, I guess. But it, it will look significantly worse if you don't content or fill this. I guess if you know how to do it, you can do it in After Effects as well, but Photoshop just has the better content to our fill settings, really. Uh, so I would recommend that you do it on there. Now, once it's launched up, just press Escape, drag that in there. Um, shouldn't take too long to load, hopefully. And, uh, okay. This is great. Wait, what the fuck? You load. Much obliged. Thank you. Now just go ahead and select the uh, what's it called? Just the hold on. Even is it? We just select the entire black thing. We can just go and delete that. Uh, now we want to content to our fill this. So what we're gonna need to do is select the lasso tool, which is up here. Uh, we're gonna need to just highlight whatever we want to fill. So we're gonna do these in small steps. Uh, we're just going to want to go ahead and do the character first. And we're going to edit content where fill. And we can just do, I guess, uh, I, I guess auto is fine. Uh, but it did apply a bit to the bottom here. So we're just going to go ahead and just delete that. Um, it will hide under the uh, the paper anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, but I don't really want to leave it, so we just go and delete that right there. Great. Now we highlight the eliminated thing. My aim was absolutely awful there, so I'm going to go ahead and redo it. Uh, right there. Select the bottom layer. Edit. Content over fill. And we just we just do the that. Yeah, that looks great. And now we can do the numbers. Now you can leave the numbers. You can do something fun with them, I guess, if you want to. But I'm just going to go ahead and delete them. Uh, just like that. Edit content where fill. And I you need to select the bottom track again. Edit content where fill. Apply. Okay. That's great. Now what you need to do is you need to just export as PNG. 
and to just import that into your pictures. And now you can go ahead and just close out Photoshop. You launch this, you delete that, and then you drag this in. Now we just go ahead and do that. It should look like that, but as you can see, the character is gone. It's a fucking miracle, folks. It, Jesus. All right. Uh, now let's go ahead and move on to the actual transition from this into the other clip. All right. So the next thing you're going to want to do after you have this is you're going to want to animate the middle sort of uh, thing here. So now I'm just go ahead and try to find it. It's right here. Great. And what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to have this just sort of go in, I guess. So we need this to like cover the entire screen. We want to set the center of this a bit up so that it actually like comes into the main or that it actually like becomes the center of it, I guess. I think that's fine. So once you have it fully zoomed in, we just go to the end. We add a keyframe there and then we go up here. We set it to one and we set it to slow or slow like that. And, uh, yeah, that's about, about all we have to do, really. Set that to slow. Uh, we do need to change the, um, center point of the paper as well. So, let's go ahead and uncheck mark this. Let's just make sure that it doesn't overlap anything. Uh, let's go ahead and actually start the zoom in a bit later, like sort of here. Uh, so that we give everything else just sort of a time to, to zoom out so that we don't overlap anything by accident. Just like that. And that's great. So let's go and replay this. Alright, should be fun. Actually, that looks like shit. So let's just go ahead and wait like a couple frames maybe. Uh, so like that. And now what you need to do is you need to find a way to transition from, uh, from well, this into some, into like the next clip. So for me, I did a paper transition. Now paper transitions are, uh, they're, they're all right, I guess. Uh, so let me just go ahead and find transition green screen. Let's go ahead and find some that I can show you guys. So, we could do, yeah, this will be fine. So, let me just go ahead and download this real quick. Uh, so, basically, it's going to be in the description, of course. I'm just finding it right now. Uh, but you can just head into the description and find the thing. So, it'll be right there. So, what you're going to need to do is just scroll down to like here, and we want the paper transition to be on top of that. So now let's go and find whatever transition we want. I guess we could do this. It'll be fine. And once that's up right there. So I'm going to show you guys how to actually use paper transitions. So if we go and mute this, uh, we do need it to end right here. Uh, so actually, I need to drag that out a bit. Uh, apparently it didn't even go all the way in, which isn't great. Uh, but we can go and delete the other track right there. And what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to sort of key this on to the, uh, this right here. Now, the reason I didn't really want to use the side thing is because we need to actually sync that up perfectly. So that's not even what I'm going to use. I'm going to use the... Uh, even that's bad. I want to use the zoom in. Uh, I don't even know where that is, but it, right there. It's the very first one. Uh, I don't know how I missed that. And like that. And the reason I want to do this is because when it actually gets to the edges, we're actually already done with it. So right there. And we need that to become bigger and bigger. So when it actually reaches the edges right here, we need to make sure that the edges are reached with that uh now it's just fucking annoying really i guess we could do that um all right let's go ahead and start by keying out so let's do chroma key here let's just go ahead and key out the uh the green right there 
so that we need to add some posterize time to that, I guess, or just some negative velocity. Um, set that to like 45, I guess. And that should be fine. But let's go ahead and actually drag this like 0, 0,2. Because, or actually 0, like 0,25. Uh, because it didn't quite go in far enough. Now, this is obviously going to be different for all of the, uh, for every single one of you guys' clips. Because, like, yeah, it's, it's, that's just how it is, really. Uh, let's go and set this to just, like, negative 16, whatever. Uh, chroma key here. Default. Green. Green. And, yeah, the, it's not quite centered, so we're just going to drag that up just a slight bit into the center right there. And there we go. And right there, we should have found something great. All right, fucking fantastic. Um, let's go ahead and just drag that up a bit, like right there. And... Yeah, that's great. All right. Once you have done that, you are pretty much ready to get started with the rendering of it. So once you have this, what you need to do is you need to just drag that towards the end. And you need to just pretty much render everything out again. So let's go to the start. Actually, we don't need to render the start out. We can just render out. Um, no, nope, let's render out everything. So just select everything. Let's go and save it. Render as... And then we do uh, part one, I guess. And I'll see you guys when this is done. All right, so the render has completed. We're just going to go ahead and delete the audio track right there. We're going to press S right there, and let's see what we have. Yeah, so should be fine. Uh, now, if it does look like that, it's, a bit, it's fine. Uh... Alright, so what we need to do now is we need to split the track, like, right there. Uh, right there. We need to add a chroma key here, and we need to key this orange out. Now, it's going to have a couple weird edges, so what we need to do is we need to decrease the low threshold to, like, that, I think. And for some reason, the paper is just fucked now. Uh, so that's not great. And, alright, whatever. Let's just do something like that, I guess. It, it, it's fine. I, I, it doesn't need to be perfect. Um, but, yeah, once you have this, you can just put something in the background. So once we've gone in here, uh, what we could do is we could just have the, uh, we could have the paper in the background here. So, in order to do that, we just take this paper right there, drag that up, and we put it in. And we're going to want to have it like that. And then, once this gets in here, we have the uh, we have the clip. We have just our second clip come in, I guess. We could do, we could do this, uh, I guess. And it doesn't really need to be perfect. So once that's in, we can actually just go ahead and have that look like that. And then we have like a beach shake come in right there. And now we have ch charcoal, I guess, ch ch BCC charcoal sketch. Just drag that on there. And uh, you're going to want to play a lot with these settings. So let's go and just soften the lines, I guess, mix with the original a bit. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what I used for my, uh, for the initial effect. Uh, let's put on, like, cartoon look. Fuck it. Uh, yeah, cartoon look is fine. So, and then we just have that, and then we, there's just a beat shake that removes it. I mean, it, it's really, really simple, really. Uh, we've done the hard part already. So, once you're done with this, uh, yeah, it should be fine, really. Uh, now we can, I guess we can go ahead and start adding the, uh, the, uh, the effects here. 
So, like I said, there is some weird fucking, like, orange here. I'm not 100% sure how to get rid of it, honestly. I guess we could do that. It should be fine. Yeah, okay, that actually worked. Great. So, once you're done with that, we can just go ahead and render everything out. Um, the, the end isn't really important that much. You just, you just put something there. Uh, so let's do, like, oh wait, 26, I don't, I don't fucking know. Uh, and I'll see you guys when this render is done. Alright, so once we have rendered everything out, we're just going to delete the track here. Uh, and we can just go ahead and mute everything else, I guess. Uh, so, so, there. So, what you're going to need to do here is, we need a beat shake here, because this looks awful. So, what we're going to need to do is, uh, well, you'll have it in the description. I'm just going to go 22 frames back from here, so that'll be the 31 right there. And I'm going to drag the already beat shake 22 frames. So, once we have that, it'll look like that. And, uh, yep, yeah, that'll be great. And that'll come in. And we want a beat check there as well. So we go 22 frames back right here. That'll be to 14. Uh, and like that. Just make sure that it's not. All right. Like that. Great. So now we have two beat checks right here. And uh, everything is great in the world. So right there we could do. I guess we really should add some black and white here or whatever. Some, some charcoal. I think charcoal would look a whole lot better, but I just don't know exactly what settings to use. Like, as you can see, right, right there, it just doesn't really make sense to me. It, it is what it is, though. It, it, you can definitely figure out what to do with the charcoal. Uh, I just don't really have time to right now. Uh, but yeah, it comes in right there, and we're good. So now, let's just go ahead and render that out one more time. Render out, and let's do, like, T4 or whatever. And uh, we're just going to add the impact and the, the, pretty much everything else. I don't think we need it to uh, make a cut here. Um, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to add the impact. And that's we're going to add the... Uh, that's pretty much it, really. Uh, it's pretty much that simple. Uh, so, yeah, I guess we really could end the video here. I have done the impact and I've done everything. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, like down below, comment, subscribe, all the good shit, and I'll see you guys in a couple days, and peace.